Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sip and Chat, your weekly dose of real estate insight and friendly discussion. Each week we will be discussing what is new in the market from interest rates, housing statistics, community insight with our favorite drink of the day. And I'm gonna go with a Coke because I need some energy. That is my drink for the day and loving what you got. I'm just gonna stick with coffee. Stick with coffee, I can't stand coffee. So uh, you enjoy. <laughs> anyway, I'm Yvonne Brink with the Brink Home Team. And I'm loving with the Brink Home Team. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we cover the South King County area. We cover the top three cities, Kent, Auburn, and Federal Way. And so we're gonna start with our mortgage rates. Loving, why don't you share with the people what our mortgage rates are right now? So our mortgage rates today, uh, 5.59 to 6.15 is the rate of the day. Okay. And they are continuing to slowly drop. Slowly, 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 let's be clear. Slowly, slowly drop. drop. Okay, so we, we can't, we don't have a, 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 a magic ball or anything to say what the interest rates are gonna go to, but they have come down. Um, uh, the feds just dropped uh, about 5%, I believe, 0.5%. Correct. And so we just don't know how much further they're gonna go, but stay tuned. We'll definitely keep you um, uh, in the know. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go to Kent. Uh, right now, Kent has 172 homes available on the market. Last week, they sold 19. So we still have quite a bit of uh, uh, properties out on the market for you buyers who are looking for something. Price range was from 500,000 to 1 million with homes selling at 100% of the sell price, which is really good for sellers. And the average days on market is 35 days, okay? Wow. And you did have nine homes that sold in less than seven days. That's yes, great. yes. So we that's did. really, really good. And they do have the most homes available in this particular area, which is Kent. Mm -hmm. Moving on to Federal Way. Federal Way had 122 homes for sale in, in the area this past week. Seven homes sold. The price range was 525,000 to 725,000. Sold almost 100% at asking price, 99 is pretty close. And days on market was 41 days on the market. And we did have four homes that did sell over the 35 day mark this past week. Mm -hmm. Four of the homes sold over 35 days, but we have to remember that homes, the clock stopped ticking when a home goes under contract. Correct. So over 30 days ago, there were four homes that was 35 days on the market. Correct. And those homes just now closed, which means the homeowners, the new homeowners just received the keys to their homes. So we just want to be clear that it wasn't uh, 35 days as of last week. No. It no, was no, over no. a month ago that, that we had four homes that was on the market for 35 days, okay? Next, we're gonna go to Auburn. Auburn right now has 173 active homes on the market. 16 homes have sold um, and closed last week. The price range is running from 305,000 to 925,000. Uh, the sell price was at 99%, so just 1% below asking. And the average days of market is 26 days. And out of the 19 homes that sold, six of those homes sold in uh, within seven days, which means they got an offer within seven days or less. Next. Uh, we'll move on to condos. And we cover King County, but condos, there's, that's where there is the most amount of inventories uh, available. Uh, 122, 120 condos available last week. 16 sold, 215,000, that's 575,000 was the price range. They sold at 98% of asking price. So there's some wiggle room in condos. There's a little, they're selling a little bit under and they're like, they're on the market for a bit, little bit longer, 53 days. And currently there, there's almost a three month supply of condos in, in the area between King and Pierce County. Right. So if you're looking for something in those price points, you definitely want to give us a call so we can help you with that. All right. Now, the next thing we kind of want to share with you is five fall home maintenance tips to get your house ready for the season. Wow, fall just happened uh, this past Sunday. Yep, it, it, it is here 
already. But the sun is out, so it's hard to tell that we're really in fall, but we are there. So one uh, tip is to inspect your he heating system. So you wanna get a professional out to your home to service your furnace. And while they're there, you also want them to replace your uh, filter. Yep and you want them to check your thermostat. So those are two of the things. And I know that uh, pricing for that can be anywhere from $75 to $200. So just call around to get the best person to yeah, make check sure your- Yeah, make sure your furnace is actually gonna turn on because that's always a big surprise and all of a sudden it's not working and all of a sudden it does not come on. And that is just a big deal. Right, but that's why you wanna get serviced. That's true. Okay, number two would be the uh, reversing your ceiling fan. So you, if you have ceiling fans, you want to take it where it goes counterclockwise. You no. reverse them so that they you go clockwise. So they go clockwise. Correct. And by doing that, it pushes the pressure of the air down into the warm air into the living spaces. Correct. Okay. Correct. I had to learn that one because we don't have ceiling fans. Oh, no. <laughs> Number three. You want to drain and store your hoses. So you want to disconnect your hoses, drain them, roll them up and put them in a dry area. So maybe your garage or a shed. And then you want to make sure you put one of those insulated covers over your um, faucet. And they sell those everywhere. They have faucet covers at you know, Home Depot, the usual suspects. Uh, Lowe's, you can get them at Fred Meyer, Walmart, just about everybody, and they're pretty inexpensive. Pretty inexpensive, but you definitely want to do that because if if we have any kind of snow or freezing weather, that can freeze your pipes and cause more damage in the end. So make sure you get those insulated covers on um, to your faucets. Number four. Clean those gutters. Clean those gutters. You want to make sure you get in there and get all the leaves and debris out of there so when it rains, which Washington is known for, the water can get down those gutters and um, clear the way, you know, and not cause any additional damage to your home. So make sure you have that taken care of. Um, and number five, we want to check the exterior lights and make sure that they're working properly. And if you have any um, security spotlights, you want to check those as well. We had we have some security spotlights and we didn't realize they weren't working because there it was not right there in front of our house. So make sure you walk the exterior of your home, make sure all of these lights are working. If not, you want to go ahead and get them replaced. And it's also good to make sure your lights are working for security reasons. Um, I know a lot of people on my block don't turn their lights on and there's just too many strangers uh, people walking by and this way, you know, if you have lights on, it deter people from coming to your door. Um, the number of people who have security cameras, they might be able to pick up some people if the lights are on. You can't see nothing in the dark, right? So that's really important um, as well. Correct. All right. So with that. In closing, if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your dream home is out there and we're here to help you find it and we'll hope to see you on the next one and have a great week this week, first week of fall. Bye. See you next time.